How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, we are back here in some Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, this, everything that you're going to see in the next, uh, I don't know, maybe month or so. I'm not really sure how many episodes are going to be of everything. But uh, what's going to be happening is this is what I'm calling the Jurassic World Evolution, Evolution Farewell Tour. And this is just my way of saying uh, goodbye to Jurassic World Evolution. So we can move on to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Just uh, so you guys know, the moment I'm recording this is about 24 hours after the Dev Diary number one. Dev Diary number one came out on YouTube, so uh, it could be a couple weeks before you actually see this video. So, what the Farewell Tour is going to have is we're going to do uh, roughly seven park tours, uh, which is going to show off some parks that I had made way back in the day when the when the game first came out. You know, way before I decided to start doing YouTube and uh, all that fun stuff so we're gonna do seven park tours uh, those will be alternating and I'm thinking they're probably gonna be on Thursdays so alternating Thursdays you'll see the tours and I believe on Wednesdays uh, every Wednesday you will see me building a new park so the first park I'm gonna be building I'm gonna be doing two uh, to the lead up to Jurassic World Evolution 2 uh, of course at this time we don't know a release date so you know I'm hoping that I can do it just right to where it kind of ends closer to the time when the new game comes out but uh, we're gonna be doing two new parks the first park is gonna be a park with all the dinosaurs that are not featured in any of the Jurassic Park films uh, excluding Jurassic World Dominion so if some of the dinosaurs may be appearing in Jurassic World Dominion like the uh, those dinosaurs that were featured in the five minute preview and stuff like that all that all those dinosaurs will be in this park uh, because I'm not going to include Jurassic World Dominion because I haven't seen it yet. If the movie had already been out, I would have included them. I would have uh, excluded them, but this time, uh, since it's not, we're going to go ahead and put them in this. So, you know, like the Giganotosaurus or Giganotosaurus, however you want to say it, and all those dinosaurs uh, will be in the new park. And then the second park we build will have all the dinosaurs that we've seen in the films, and that will be the final send off of Jurassic World Evolution. So we can bring Jurassic World Evolution 2 to the channel, and uh, of course, Jurassic World Evolution 2 will be featured heavily on the channel. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I love dinosaurs, and I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. So, uh, definitely expect that to be uh, to be here. So. so, the first park we are looking at today is actually, doesn't really have a name, but I had saved it as paleo rainforest and i think the idea i had behind this park was all the uh, rainforest skins and tropical skins and stuff like that uh, for the dinosaurs in this park uh, i know that one of the parks that i did on the channel that i built on the channel was called paleo rainforest but uh this is just another park with the same name i guess i just uh, happened to take that name and use it again but anyway so yeah we're going to go ahead and uh Take a look around at the, at the park that I built. Uh, you know, it's not the greatest. I never used mods uh, until, like, sort of recently and, and all that fun stuff. So this is a completely unmodded park. And uh, back in the day, I just kind of sat down and had some fun, you know. Uh, never really had too many plans in mind. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and get started. There will be a, there's a couple gyrosphere tours and, uh, you know, park tours and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're not going to do that during the uh, uh, during this tour, but at the end, uh, I may have a few cinematic shots, and then we'll do the uh, do the little gyrosphere tours and all that kind of stuff at the end, so people that want to watch them can watch them. Uh, but here we start at the entrance uh, where the guests arrive, coming off the monorail, and I got a few things over here, such as the uh, gift shops, clothes shops, restaurants, arcades, and all that fun stuff. And I had added the Paleobotany greenhouse as sort of like a uh, sort of like a museum in a way, sort of like I kind of added it there to to make it seem like the guests could go in and check it out, uh, kind of like a museum of uh, I guess I guess a greenhouse of like prehistoric plants or something like that is uh, what I was kind of going for. Uh, we threw the hotel over here. Excuse me. Uh, I don't believe that there is a dinosaur in here. I think this is just sort of like a little area of foliage and water and rocks and stuff. But I don't see a dinosaur, so... Yeah, you'll have to forgive me. It's been so long since I've been in this park. According to the save data file, I have not been in this park for over a year. So i got to be honest with you. Can't really remember too much about what's going on. 
But yeah, we got our bowling alleys and all your uh, normal stuff that you'd find in an entrance. Uh, I think what we're going to do is, I'm not sure which way we should go first. I guess we could probably go this way first. We're going to go ahead and go this way first. So in this habitat, or in this enclosure, I have, I'm not sure what I have in here. Let's, let's find out. Let's go ahead and take a look around and see what we can find. I see we have... Oh, I think this is sort of like a aquatic... Aquatic area. Maybe. I'm not sure. I see we got some Sukos. I see two Sukos. I did see... Yeah, we got a Spinosaurus in here. Uh, I see something over here. What is this? Dilophosaurus. Okay, we got some Dilophosaurus in here. And I did see a sauropod, and of course you can throw the sauropods in with the carnivores because uh, unlike the Indominus Rex, they can't take them down. I do see a Brachiosaurus, and is this a Gallimimus? Yes, Gallimimus. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure what the whole point of this uh, enclosure was. Not sure what was going through my mind at the time. But yeah, that's, that's what we got. So Gallimimus, Sucomimus, Spinosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Dilophosaurus. And I guess that's it. Yeah, Dilophosaurus. Oh, we do have some Ceratopsids in here. I believe these might be Sinoceratops, maybe? Uh, yeah, Sinoceratops. All right, cool. I'm really sorry if I... I wish I could give you guys some more, like, you know, uh, background to it, but it's about all we got. I can't wait to see what the Spinosaurus looks like in the new game. I wonder if it's going to be changed up any. I noticed that the T-Rex looks a lot better than it did in the past. I'm not saying there was anything wrong with the uh, previous one in this one, but, you know, definitely a step in the right direction. Hmm. Cool. All right, so yeah, those that's, that's an enclosure. So we're going to go ahead and go around. What, what we'll do is we'll go this way, and we'll circle back around. So I'm not sure what's in this enclosure on this side. That has a tour in it. So, okay, we're just going to go ahead and go this way. We do, of course, have our monorail stations uh, plastered around everywhere. So, um, they all like this fence area over here. There must be something in here they like to, they like to look at. So what do we got in here? This also has an... I think each one of these almost has... Almost every single one of these has a tour to it, apparently. Ah, okay, so we got some Pachys. Pachycephalosaurus. We do have some Aurora Titans. Beautiful head crest on those guys, too. Uh, what are these, Chasmo? No, these are Pitaceratops, sorry. And we have our Dreadnoughtus. And we also have a Diplo. And I'm just throwing dinosaurs all over the place in these. This is a massive, massive habitat that I built here. Do we have a carnivore in here? I thought I saw a carnivore up here. Is that our... Yeah, that's our, our big boy. Our big girl. Tyrannosaur. This is one of my favorite skins, by the way. I love it. I love that. The, the, the dark colors on it are, are awesome. I wonder if... Uh, do we have any smaller... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if we have any smaller carnivores in here. Let's take a look. So we... Oh, we do have some... Uh, what are these? Uops? Yeah, Uops Cephaly. Lord Titan, Kansasaurus, Diplodocus, Diplodocus, uh, Dreadnoughtus, Hackneys, yeah. Okay, so we'll take a look at our uh, Euoplocephalus. Euoplocephalus. Nice. I gotta say, you know, seeing all this Jurassic World Evolution 2 content with all the, with all of the new skins and patterns and all that stuff, coming back to seeing what they look like in this game, they really weren't that bad. I mean... I know, like, the raptors had terrible skins until, you know, until we had the uh, the Jurassic World update where we gave us the four Delta, Blue, Echo, and Charlie skins. And then, of course, we got the ones that turned to Jurassic Park. But besides that, they, were all, they weren't all bad. I mean, like, I mean, that's, to me, personally, that's a badass skin right there. I love it. That's awesome. By the way, I'm using an Xbox controller when I play this game, so... Sometimes I tend to want to lean back in my chair when I'm, you know, playing with an Xbox controller. So if my, the voice seems like it gets kind of far away, that's why. Over here we have our, uh, 
I always do this with every park that I build. I always have a little section where I breed my dinos and then I move them to their respective enclosures. Thank God that we got the uh, hatch via airlift coming in Jurassic World Evolution 2 because uh, that uh, really, really, really is going to come in handy. Um, let's see. Okay, next one over here. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, okay, that's an Albertosaurus. Um, another Borosaurus, which is actually, personally, one of my favorite. Uh, what are these? A Hadrosaur, I guess? One of my favorite uh, of those. What else we got in here? This is a very heavily forested area. I think we got some raptors over here. Hell yeah, we got the raptors. We got the raptor squad. I mean... Is that one of the, uh, let's see which, uh, skin that is. Is that one of the regular skins? That's the Arid Sea. <sighs> I don't know, man. The Raptor skins in this game originally were just, well, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. They're just crap to me, in my opinion. They're just horrible. What do we got here? Is this the other, yeah, the, okay, those are all Albertas. We have some Taurosaurs. Is that a Stiggy? We got some Stiggy Molochs. All right, let's go ahead and check this out this way. All right, so we got a lot in here. Uh, I think we've seen everything at the Raptors, and we have one guy down here who's hiding, Crichtonosaurus. Yeah, curious to know if he's going to make it into the next game or not. Uh, seeing the dev diary the other day, there were some dinosaurs, because, you know, it, it seems like the general consensus is not every dinosaur from Jurassic World Evolution 1 is going to make it into the new game. So I'm curious to know which ones are going to be removed, because some of the ones that I figured would have been renew removed uh, have been shown in the dev diary 1 from Frontier, and then in, for me that includes a Taurosaurus and the Dracorex. I didn't think those two would make it. I figured the Stiggy and the Packy would have made it before the Dracorex would, so... Uh, that does uh, shock me a little bit there when it comes to that. So what do we got in here? Always check where the feeders are. Looks like we got some Herrerasaurus. Herrerasaurus. Uh, sorry for the camera movements. I don't want to make you guys dizzy. Got all our herbivores down here. I'm very proud of this. This this looks. This, I hope everyone agrees. This this looks pretty decent. I mean. There's only so much you could do in this one. Uh, Aranosaurus, Allosaurus, whose comfort is terrible. I don't know. Uh, we got a Parasaurus. And we have a Nementiosaurus. I'm hoping that all the sauropods, every single one of the sauropods, make it into the next game because that's one of my favorite types of dinosaurs is sauropods. The bigger the better, I say. Uh, some of the dinosaurs I would like to see is I would definitely like to see the Argentinosaurus make it into the new game. As well as some of the other sauropods. We got the uh, Armagosaurus. That was one of them that I would, like, I would like to see. So, let's see. We got our stegos. Got to have your stegos. Whoops, whoops, in the trees. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look through our uh, viewing gallery here. One hell of a view. This game is absolutely beautiful. You know, uh, comparing it to Jurassic World Evolution 2, Jurassic World Evolution 2 is definitely going to be a insanely huge uh, step up from from what we got right now so but nonetheless you know with this this game is still beautiful like it really is you can make some really beautiful enclosures get some really beautiful screenshots looks very natural you looking for some food all right yeah some of these uh, tours are gonna be uh, fairly short so all right, let's go ahead and take a look in here and see what we got. Let's see, we got a gyrosphere, gyrosphere tour. I can't talk. Uh, let's see what we got. It looks like we don't have anything in here, apparently. Uh oh. That would be the end on. Yep. Look at that. Look at camouflages. That's so cool. I would assume that when it comes to the hybrids for the next game, yep, yeah, just the end on. 
I would assume uh, with the Hadra or the uh, hybrids for the next game, uh, I'm, I'm feeling that Indominus and Indoraptor are the only ones that are going to make it in. I would like to see the Spinal Raptor return, but to be honest with you, the other two, the uh, Stegoceratops and Ankylodoclus, Ankylodoclus, Ankylodocus, is a. Uh, I couldn't care could care less if they make it back in. I don't. I don't really care for them. Never really used them too much. I think uh, some of the park tours we do uh, during our farewell tour, uh, you know, you'll see some of them, but I don't know. Like, I'm not really too keen on the hybrids, to be honest with you. The only hybrids I like is the Indominus and the Spinal Raptor. I'm not a big fan of the Indoraptor, to be honest with you. It looks cool and all, but when it comes to the Jurassic Park films, uh, you know, Fallen Kingdom is my least favorite, and that's not me saying it's a bad film. I don't think it's a bad film, but... You know, they talked about how the Indoraptor was like this absolute badass of a dinosaur. I mean, it could, it had the best, you know, sense of smell and sight and all this other stuff. And, you know, when they, when it came to writing the movie, they didn't do it right. I mean, no one should have survived the Indoraptor attack when it was in the, uh, in the mansion. N no one. If it was as badass as they said it was, it shouldn't, have, it should have literally taken out every single person in that mansion. Everyone. Uh, it's your typical, you know, movie criteria, you know, you can't kill off everybody, you gotta have your main character survive or whatever, but, anyway, that's just me complaining, but, uh, alright, our last habitat over here, we'll have our Camarasaurus, we got some Iguanodons, uh, Styracosauruses, and surely I threw a Carnivore in here, because it seems like I always do, and I did, what do we got? We got the Majunga. Or what I like to call the sausage dinosaur, because for some reason he looks like a, a sausage link with arms and legs attached to it. Did I put a small carnivore in here? I feel like I probably did. Oh, no, that, those are the small carnivores. Oh, we got some Archies, Archie from Minus. And we have one of my favorite dinosaurs of all time. We have the Giga. Which, uh, I saw, like, you know, little clips of, uh, grainy footage of the five minute preview. Uh, for Jurassic World Dominion, and I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion. I haven't read too much about it, but I kind of like this version better. Uh, the version that's in the game, uh, I kind of like a little bit better. But we'll wait and see until the movie comes out. Maybe, you know, I just didn't get a good look at it yet, so, uh, you know, I'll do it then. Oh, we have a Kentrosaurus. Another dinosaur that I would not mind seeing back in the game. Honestly, I would love to see every single dinosaur that was in Jurassic World Evolution 1 make it into the sequel. But you can't have everything, right? So, I'm just excited to find out what all the rest of the new dinosaurs are. So, I think that's about it. Yeah. I think I covered everything. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enclosures. Six enclosures. Not too many. So, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to do... Uh, at the end of the video, uh, instead of doing any, I'm not going to do any cinematics. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have some of the tours. So I will record each of the tours in each enclosure. And then, I don't know. I'm not going to do the end on because there's only one dinosaur in there. So we're just going to do, we'll do these four uh, tours. Actually, I'm not going to do the gyrosphere. Sorry, but... You can't really see outside the gyrosphere, so I'm just going to do the Jurassic Tours. The gyrosphere. Yeah, we'll do this one, this one, and that one. Yeah. So we're not going to do the gyrosphere tours, but we will do the truck tours. So I'll do three of those at the end. Y'all can watch those if you want, and of course you don't have to if you don't want to. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call it a day. So there it is. There is the Paleo Rainforest Park. Uh built about a year ago so i really hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys will look forward to the other six uh, parks that i'm going to show off on the channel and uh, i hope you guys enjoy the whole feral tour that i'll be doing and enjoy the parks that i'm going to build uh i'm not the best builder in this game when it comes to this like people like best in slot and uh evolution square and my good buddy parking center they do a phenomenal job in this game so uh Mine won't be up to par with those guys, but hopefully you'll like them nonetheless. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.
Thank you.